Hi everyone. Namaste. I hope you are fine, all of you, and uh, taking care very well. Hi Maxine, Soichi, Sally, Sekhabai, welcome. Sally, Namaste Maxine. Come on, bye. Namaste. Eileen, welcome. I'm good. Come on, thank you. Hi, Stanley. Are you guys ready for the yoga stretch? Hi, Jane. Hi, everyone. Winnie, hi. Okay, so let's restart some yoga stretches with the basic stretches first, then it goes slowly, slowly. Once the hamstrings and muscles get warmed, then it goes a little more deeper in. All right, let's see it. <coughs> Being on your mat, please everyone here. Here, okay? Now, first thing, we are going to less leave it, uh, going to extend the shoulder and spine. So making the inch lock like this, sitting comfortable, like this way. Make it lock. Hands straight up, looking forward. Elbow straight, keeping your hands behind the ear. Now we will just move your head only, not the arms, okay? Now, arms must be straight, lifting the body up. Now together, deep inhale, reaching chin now. Looking backward. Exhale, bring your chin to the chest. Keep in hand, really get you now. So you're sitting here, make sure your right foot is beneath the left ankle arch, bringing the left hand towards the left side here, moving it straight, straight, lengthen. If you can drop elbow on the floor, you can drop it. This is challenging reach. Inhale, right arm up, all the way, stretch the waistline, twist the body with arm. One, two, three. Four and five. Come back. Beautiful. Now let's other side. The 
Bring your right hand to the right side. Bring it in hand. Bring your left arm straight down. Yes, look up. Deep breath. Okay? Press it. Five. Four. Yes, keep stretching. Three. Two. One. Come back. Lovely. Come back. This is the waist we have stretched it. Okay? Now, leg stretch. Shake it. Hold your left leg here. Bring your left foot up. Bend your leg. Place it on the elbow joint here. This knee is here. Like this. Now shaking it. Like this. Loosening the hip joint here. This is the ball. Ball is getting loosened over here. You see? It's happening here. It's not for the quadriceps, not for the hamstring, not for the calf. It's for the head of the femur. It's the ball. Shaking it. Yes, you can go even more here. Even more. Back. Bring the bones in here. Like this. Like this. Shaking it. Like this. Okay, once you're done, bring this foot, the heel closer to the oblique. Or flexes here. Bring. Pressing this knee down. As your knees is closer, always better. Press it. Press. Now, your knee has a exhibit forward. Point toes here. Head down. One, two, <coughs> three, <coughs> four, five, <coughs> six, slowly, can you hands up? Straight down. Exit down. Now, hold your leg. Okay? This leg is here. Holding it here. Now, going the forward. Like this. Knees closer right. Here, like this. And then slowly going forward. Lie down. This is the very good for the flexes. Over here. Bring your other leg up. Fold it. Shake it. Nice. Loose up. Bring it here, guys. Press the knee down. This is the hip stretch. So we are stretching the hips. Now, you need hands up. Bend forward. Head down. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Bring hands up. Stretch. Hands down. Now, fold in the leg. Okay? Knees closer. Is the very good here. Flexors here. Knees together. Lie down. Here. 
Stay. Make sure your stomach touching down. The your left leg is straight here, like this. The right knee is inside. Hold here. Deep breath. Stay. Hold on. Come on. Stretches we have done it okay. Let's everyone coming in the cat pose, please. Crossing the legs, coming in the catch pose here. Let's take the deep in here, raising your left leg up higher, bring it up, look up. Exhale, bring the left foot outside of the left hand here. Okay, toes turning out, knee outside here okay now less hips move it left right right left like this drop elbows here stay here move it left right right left here each time each time you're going to do more Last one, going more, A, going more, yes, going more, and then slowly drop it. Okay, try to drop it gently, and then let's bend forward. Stay, arm straight, head down. Taking the five breath, five, four, three, Two, one. Slowly come back here. Come back. You see, this is like if you find harder from here to drop down. So what can you do? You can pull the foot closer, and then you can drop like this. Then you can go forward at the same. If you want to make it easier, coming to the cat pose, please. Round back. In here, right leg up. Bring it up here. Stretch. Exhale. Bring it outside of the right hand. Toes outside. Moving it. Yes. This way. Yes. Get loosened it. <laughs> Draw back. Five breaths here, five times, slowly. Yes, keep stretching. Arm straight now, slowly. Straight arms, head down, straight. Five breaths, one, two. Three, bring body down. Four and five. Now you can either drop straight away here, or you want to make it easy, come closer, and then drop it first. Then forward. I'm straight head down. Five. Four. Three, two, one. 
one come back nice now let's going to the downward facing dog everyone here the downward facing dog so i'll change this side here down facing dog raise your left leg up bring it up higher more raising up and step it forward between the hands your toes <coughs> pointing forward feet with the hips apart here hands like this bounce like this bounce it and try the elbows low more use it low more keep bouncing like this way one two Try it down, three, four, five. Look up. Now, walk forward. The weight over the toes. <laughs> so this hip, bring it over. If this leg right leg go 90 degrees, fine. But I want your weight more forward bend and goes like this, you see. Then you can start raising your back leg up. Okay? Try here. Going down. Here. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, come back. Bring your feet together here. Okay? Now, catch your ankles. Here's the ankles. Let's bounce. Bouncing. Now, back to downward facing dog. Raise your right leg up. High. Step forward. Okay. Same thing. Bouncing over here. Like this. Toes pointing forward. And going down. Bounce. Here. Okay. Bouncing. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Come back. As the elbows goes more lower, it means the hamstring is pretty good. It's good stretch. So you can practice it day by day. So now walking forward hands. Here, shifting your weight forward on the tiptoes. Here, bend elbows, back leg higher. Yes. Going down, hand five, four, three, two, one. Come back, feet together. Yeah, catch your ankles. Okay, bounce or go inside. Go inside more. Head down. Bridge. Come back. Let's go to the back to downward face down here. Okay? I will come this way. Raise your left leg up now. High. Exit step forward. We are going to do the front split. So let's do the one preparation for the front split first. This is the hair between the hands, this foot, hands to the quadriceps. Then let's bounce first. Here, hamstring we have stretch, so we are stretching now quadriceps bit. So right toes pointed back. Here, stay there. Good, stay here. Hold. Okay, you can put your left elbow like this. Right hand behind, catch your right ankle. 
Okay, just catch and hips down. This is the first step for the beginners. If you can catch the both hands, your back foot and fold it in. Okay, so uh, this way you can see over here, like uh, this one. I'm folding it here, and one hand is like this, two hands is like this, squeezing it. Close. This is very intense and very good stretch for the quadriceps like this. Hold one. Or simple. Two. Hip down. Pull a little bit, little bit. Three. Four. And five. Come back. Lovely. Let's go back to the down chair. Leg change, right there, bring it forward, draw it, okay, hand to the quadriceps first, let's bounce first, toes pointed, hip down, being stable, you can use your elbow here, or you can use your blocks even, so folding the back leg, doing the simple, I'm doing the demonstration in a simple way, here hold it tight, just stay like this. This is for the beginners. So quadriceps is burning, or you both hands also can. So hold it. One, two, three, four. Less we are going to practice now the front split. So after this, or after all these warm-ups or practices, stretchings, then the front split will be easier. So if you still experience a little pain, okay, let me tell you the the pain is the part of the progress. So if either we are very very good, yeah. and yeah. if if we are very good, then uh, we have to spend a lot of time to become very good. So those like you know regular regular practitioners, I'm 20 years yoga practitioners. I'm still like uh, when I go to the front split, I have the still feelings and the stretchings and then a little bit like uh, pain. You can say that. So this is the process. This is the part of the progress. So take it, improve your endurance power of it. So the muscles always every day stretch, every day close. Okay. Like example, today we're doing yoga. After one hour, it will be tight again. So we have to <coughs> like elastic. Elastic, hard elastic, you have to pull it day by day, day by day to transform <coughs> transform it to the soft uh, like elastic. Same with the muscles. We have to stretch every day, bit by bit, bit by bit, bit by bit. When you stretch bit by bit every day, the muscles get softened and loosened. But the feeling will be always there. Less or more, that depends on the practice. So take this now. So never be like uh, give up or quit because of the pain. Pain is the part of the progress. Take it. So we're going to do the front split now. So downward facing dog here. Raising your left leg up. Five. Bring your left foot forward. Okay? Dropping the right knee. Okay? Hands is here. So slowly, you see, okay, I'm going step by step. You see, is height here? A little bit. You can hold block. You can hold the ball stroke. You can put something beneath your hands to get the height. Those are first time. Now you see, what can you see my body? My body is leaning so much forward. It's almost, you see my head and knee? Actually, it's not correct. So when you use the block or something, the body have to be here, you see. That's the right one. So do not lean forward. If the hips is tight, use blocks or props. Okay, then slowly pushing like this. As I mentioned in the last hip opening class, so this is the stretching class. So it's like the stretchings as well at the hips area. So you're pressing it like this. Once you do like this five times, then move left and right. You see. Okay. Then there's the one more set. A again, you see. Bit by bit. Take your time. Those are like, it's for the uh, beginners and those are the tight hips. Want to achieve front split for them. Like this, you see, okay. and now this way, sideways. Okay, then your pain and the stretching should be lesser. Your pain. Now, final one, let's push a little more and start bending forward. Harder, put the block, take the block or bolster, put it here beneath the hip. 
Left hip, stay here, head down. Right toes pointed backward, stay, breathe. One, two, three, four, Slowly come back. Never jerk when coming back. Stay here. Okay? Now, this is the different muscles we're going to stretch. Okay? Hands is here. You see? This way. Okay? Hands a little slightly far. And then here this way and backward. This way and backward. This way and backward. Like this. You see? Okay? Try. One. Two. You can go even more side. Three, four, and five. Come back. Lovely. Center. Back to the downward facing down your one. Here, you see? Here. Nice. Bring your right leg up. Step forward. Same way. Forward first, drop, bounce it. See, I'm uh, even I'm going step by steps. I can go straight to one, but no. The healthy practice is very important. Safer practice is very important. So go bit by bit, bit by bit. Here. Okay. Once you've done like five times, stay bouncing. Then side this here. Okay. So you're building your arm strength as well here, like this. Like this. Then one more time. Okay. Like this. Yeah. Like this. Now bend forward. Fine. Catch. Straight. Pointing toes. Head down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come back. Hands closer. Okay. Body switch. Okay, do you see? Now, hands to your left side. Here. This is the pelvis. I try to bring your hands in front of side of the pelvis here. Now, going this way. Here, like this. Backward. Yes. One. Two. Here. Three. Four. Five. Here. And come back. Nice. Now, bring your leg forward. Yes. Hold it and shake it first. Shake it. Now, fold the legs one by one. Hands behind. Fingers pointing backwards. Feet together and the knees together. Now, your feet have to be closer to your butt. Knees together here. Let's drop your knees to your left side, your right foot and right near the top of the left. Now twist body here. Looking to your right. Breathe. One. Two. Three. Four, leaning more, and five, slowly come back, change, other side, here, twisting, bending the elbow, leaning more, five, 
take the four. Three. Two. One more distance. The right knee here, 90 degree, left foot on the top. Press down. Here, like this. You see? Okay? Now that this hip is coming up, so press it down here. You see? Press it down. Like this. Bring your butt down. This is a good stretch. Here. Straight. Like this. Now, lean to your crotch. Here. One. Hey, who's, who's cooking hard? Three. <coughs> Four. Huh? Four hit. No, I Four. No, I Four hit. 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 Slowly, uh, you see this hip is coming up, so work on it. Look up. Now your left ankle, use your right hand, hold the left ankle or uh, left foot like this. The left hand on the waist here, twist body, look up. Bring your hand up, hang it, twist, look up. Look at your palm or fingers. One, two, three. Four, five, come back. Love. Let's change side, other side. Catch your foot. Other hand on the waist. Look up. Twist body first. 
Bring your head up. Stretch. Look at the head. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come back. Love. Catch ankles. Jump to you. the little bit warm uh, like uh, to, to stretch the body so like uh, those are with the tight body maxing it's fine just do a little bit uh, slower not so fast so it will be fine okay so like uh, I'm speaking this position because I'm a regular practitioner practicing last 20 years so I'm a bit comfortable with my practice and with my body so I know my body very well is like uh, you have to be master in your body when you practice it so I'm just have the like uh, control over my body so that's why okay so we are going to use the wall now okay and uh, going to stretch some like uh, shoulder and then there are some like the uh, shoulder flexors so those uh, next to the wall use wall those don't know then you can try to learn this technique and you can practice it later okay watch it So the hands are straight here, like this, straight arms. Okay? How much distance? Okay? You see hand distance, okay, your hand distance here, right? Okay. Shoulder length. Straight. Shoulder length. Okay. Place it. Then walk back. Here. Yeah. Okay, hands will not move, your feet can move. Now the chair is down. Here. Yeah. Stretch. And look down. Where you have to look, you have to look on your belly button or either your feet here if you find your hands is too high one is here hands down here and hands cannot be more wider than your shoulder remember as low is here for you here chest down look down elbow straight one two stay here keep pressing your weight down Pushing your chest down. In the tea table. Three. Four. You need to bring chest more lower. Look down. Try this one like every day for like let's say five minutes, your shoulder will be very flexible. It's very fast. Now, here, come inside, <coughs> inside me, fist. Now, in here, exit. Let's rotate the hands. Reverse. Now, shoulder is ready. So, next stretch now. So, same thing, hands here, like this, chest down, okay, head down. Swing chest, find harder and higher, down move it here. Now, right foot center, bring your left leg up here. It's very good one, guys. Go down, walk, leg high, two. 
three, four, and five. Bring it step forward. Foot forward here. Okay? Hand switch. Hip down. Bust. Back knee switch. Legs. Down straight body. Five. Four. Three. Two. Changing other side now. Okay, hand switch. Chest down. <coughs> Head down. Bring your right leg up. Chest down. High. One. Two. Three. Four, five, step forward. Okay, the back foot behind. Arm stretch. Okay, back stretch. Okay, five, four. Don't bend elbows. Keep the arm stretch. Three. Two. One. Come back. Nice. That was the very good stretch for the shoulder and for the hip as well. Now the next one, guys. Okay. Feel the one more distance part in here. Again, left hand up, straight down. Palm facing in, right hand down. Switch your entire left side up. Left shoulder try to bring knee to the left shoulder. You can extend that much. Left side of the body. Right shoulder down. Now exhale. Hips to the left. Hand over the head. Look up. At the ceiling. One. Two. Three. This part more. Okay? Three. Two. One. Come back. Nice. Very good. Now the next one. Next stretch. Over here. Okay? So the next one is here. Like uh, keeping your feet wider, wider feet. Okay? Left toes, the left toes turning out here. Okay? Knee going side. Then bending this knee sideways, hands here. You see? Okay? It's harder, but try it. Effective. Flex your foot, lift the toes up. Okay? Slide this one out. Okay? Not the foot. Slide one. Hands here. Okay, smile first, then slowly bounce it. Here, stretch, the same stretch. Okay, going down. Like this. Even if you can, you can keep body straight, try that, you know. Here. Now, elbows drop. Do not drop it, but don't sit. Hips up. Here, elbows drop. Head down. Take your time. One. Two.
3 4 5 slowly now come back drop the hip now drop the hip here like this you see ok this foot go closer right hand here catching up left hand up stretch all the way look up let's see the knee pushing outside and twisting the body up stay here 5 4 3 looking up 2 Two, three, four, five. Slowly, hands close. Yes, sitting, hip down slowly. Yes. If you can grab the foot there, no need to pull closer. That was the easy variation. So you can grab there, grab there. Then half all catch twist body look up five four three two one come back love beautiful guys now come back Straight legs first. Shake it. Shake it. Is. Nice. Cross this. Standing up. Alright. Now, you see the both sides we have stretched. Let's try now the side split. Guys, I need to go very slowly. Don't run. I will explain it. Alright. Come in here. Feet wider. Okay. Wider slowly. Bit by bit. Wider. Then you bring your hands down here. Okay. Or you can use the block, hold the block here. Yeah. Then slowly, step by step. One toes out, heel out. Right toes out, heel out. Left toes out, heel out. Other one. When you feel your mass, put the block here. Or you can drop elbows straight. Like this. Okay? If you can go a little more, slide bit by bit. You can slide. Once you feel like low enough or max, lift the toes up. And going forward. Stay like slowly, slowly. Okay, you can do on the block as well. You're sitting on the block, you can uh, start doing that. Here, shaking it forward back. Hands forward, straight arms. Head down. One, stay there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come back, slowly, hands closer. Yes, now turn to your left side. Bring your head down. Go down. Touch it. One. Two. Three. 
four, five. Change to this other side, slowly. Yes, you can bend forward or if you want to be intense, press the hands on the knees here. Press it. Yes, press. Flex. Arm trick is quite intense. I feel it personally more effective. Yeah. Flex. Going down. One. Two. Three, four, five. Come back. Crossings. No. Accident. Now let's. We are going to do uh, together. Now the grounding pranayama. So, primary pranayama, one breathing, uh, very important after the yoga practice. Like after Savasana, the one pranayama is very, very important. So, we are practicing one pranayama, primary pranayama. So, thumbs, you close the ears, the rest of the fingers is put on the, your like uh, index finger on the forehead, your middle finger on the eyes, and your ring finger on the uh, next to the nose, and then the little finger down on the next to the uh, above the lips. Yeah. So you close the ears completely, let's chant three times M, Makar, M sound, like black B sound, humming sound, okay, and louder. Let's close your ears completely, you can't hear any sound outside, taking the deep in a hasten. Let's show the palms. Place the hands. Slowly rise to the palms. Chains. Namaste, guys. Namaste. So we have the just few minutes uh, because the, in the last few videos I got the, some like uh, the questions and messages from uh, many of you the like uh, some of you have some questions so we have the two minutes so please you can feel, feel free to ask any questions regarding to the class or anything so most welcome everyone so if you do have any questions regarding you didn't understand or you have any request so I can look into it and uh, work on it. So, uh, I hope everything is clear, there is no question so far, so if you have any questions you can drop the like uh, uh, message to us on the DM us on the trash to the piece and uh, I will try like uh, to make it more creative each time and uh, something more effective because like I feel personally like uh, the basic stretch and basic things is more effective if you do it in the right way and correct way, okay. and. Uh, Thank you so much guys and uh, uh, thank you Nubling, thank you Sekhar, Maxine, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it guys. Thank you.
Yes, so any question? All right. Surya Namaskar, yeah, sure. I will look into it, Mira. Thank you for sharing. Short opening, sure. And uh, okay, good. Thank you, everyone. Okay, no worries. Uh, yes, Namli, you can ask, you can go ahead. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thanks, I hope you uh, like enjoying and uh, uh, thanks for appreciating it. Thank you, everyone. All right, guys, so uh, please like uh, take care. And uh, I'm not introducing so much advanced practices, I'm telling you because like I feel like uh, being at home, not doing everyday yoga that oftenly as we used to do it. So basic stretch is more effective than advanced. So take it in a positive way and practice it basic. Basic is the always foundation, remember. The basic is the foundation for everything. If the foundation never shake, the practice never effect. So keep your foundation strong. Even I'm doing the basic stretches for myself. Thank you guys, stay home and uh, please take care and eat healthy and uh, take care. Namaste.